This is a short lesson on probability. It focuses on a few vocabulary words associated with probability that are important for third graders to know. By the end of this lesson, you will understand the vocabulary words certain, likely, unlikely, and impossible, and you will be able to identify situations using the vocabulary words certain, likely, unlikely, or impossible. I'm going to start by putting these blue marbles into the bag. Now if I pull a marble out of the bag, can you predict what color marble I will pull? I'll pull a marble now. As you can see, I pulled out a blue marble. Of course, the only marbles I will pull out will be blue because I only have blue marbles in the bag. Just to be sure, let's try again. Can you predict what color marble I will pull from the bag? Let's pull one out. I pulled out a blue marble. Again, we can say that it's certain that we will pull out a blue marble. It will definitely happen. There's no way for us to pull out any other color marble, only blue. Again, we can say that it is certain that every time I'll pull a blue marble because there are only blue marbles in the bag. Let's do it again with red marbles. Now what do you think will happen if I put these red marbles in the bag and pull one out? First I'll put them in. And then I'll pull one out. I pulled out a red marble. It is certain that the marble will be red because there are only red marbles in the bag. If it is certain, an event definitely will happen. What are some other events that are certain to happen? Well, we're certain to have recess today. Yay, good for the students and the teachers. You're certain to go home and do homework. Sorry, can't get out of it. And, of course, you're certain to go to bed sometime tonight. Let's take another example. What if I have five blue marbles and one green marble, and I put them in a bag? They go. Now, make a prediction. What color will I pull, pull out? I pulled out a blue marble. Let's try again. Once again, I'll put them in. You can predict what color I will pull. I'll pull one out. Once again, I pulled out a blue marble. And if I do it a third time and put the marbles in, there they go. You can predict, and I pull one out. I still pull out a blue marble. Why does that happen? Why do I keep pulling blue marbles? Well, I have five blue marbles and only one green, so I'm probably going to pick a blue marble. We say that it's likely that I we will pick a blue marble because there are mostly blue marbles in the bag. And we can also say that it's unlikely that we will pick a green marble because there is only one green marble. This time I'll show you the marbles I have in the bag. If I were to pull out one marble, what color would it likely be? Well, how can we decide whether we would be likely to pull out a yellow or a green marble? The easiest way to do that is to count the marbles. First, let's count one color. I'll count the green. One, two, three, three green marbles. Now yellow. One, two, three, four, five and six, six yellow marbles. 
so it's likely that we'll pull out a yellow marble, since there are more yellow marbles in the bag. And it's unlikely to pull out green, because there are only three green marbles. Likely means that some event will probably happen, but it's not for sure. What are some events that are likely to happen? We will likely continue to have a sunny day today. You never know, we could get some clouds later, but for right now it's sunny. It's likely I'll drink coffee in the morning. Every once in a while I like to surprise you guys, but usually it's coffee. And it's likely that we'll have a spelling test Friday. We do have other things that come up sometimes, but it's likely we'll still have a test. Unlikely means that some event will probably not happen. You never know for sure, but probably not. What are some other events that are unlikely to happen? It's unlikely that it will rain today. We're probably gonna, not going to get big rain clouds moving in. It's unlikely that your mom will let you play video games all night long. Maybe on the weekend, but still probably not all night. Finally, it's really unlikely that your lunch will look like this. Let's go back to the first example, where I had all blue marbles. If I put all the marbles into the bag, like I'm doing here, How likely is it that I will pull out one white marble? Let me pull out a marble. You can see that it's blue. And you know that there are no white marbles in the bag, so there's no way to pull out a white marble. So we say that it's impossible. Again, if I have only six blue marbles, it is impossible to pull out a white marble. There are no white marbles in the bag. It's also impossible to pull out a purple or green or red marble. Again, we say that it's impossible. If an event is impossible, it means that it will absolutely not happen. No way. What are some other things that are impossible? Well, it's impossible that a monkey will call you on the telephone. There's just no way. It's impossible that you will go back to kindergarten when you finish third grade. And it's impossible that you will have a whale as a pet. They're just too big. Let's do a quick review. Is it certain, likely, unlikely, or impossible that the principal will drive into our classroom in a car? Impossible. That you will have milk with your lunch today? Likely. That you will fall down and cut open your knee? Unlikely. That we will complete this lesson? Certain. And a little more review. I'd like you to tell me whether it's certain, likely, unlikely, or impossible that in this set of marbles we will pull a purple marble. It's likely because there are more purple marbles than any other color marble. How about a green marble? Impossible, since there are no green marbles in this set. In this set, how likely is it to pull? A yellow marble. Unlikely, there are only two yellow marbles. How about blue? Also unlikely, there's only one of those. In this last set, how likely is it to pull a red marble? Likely. Again, there are mostly red marbles. How about white? Impossible, because there are no white marbles. Now you know the new math vocabulary words certain, likely, unlikely, and impossible. And I think that this is certainly the end of the, th the lesson.